I'm Nicola West and I'm Professor of Restorative Dentistry at Bristol Dental School. My main speciality is periodontology. Early intervention is critical when it comes to gum health. We know that most periodontal diseases, or the majority, can be prevented. And we know that the majority of periodontal diseases are plaque related. So when we're examining a patient and we get a BPE1, it's really time to get in there and do something. We want a BPE0, or with the new classification of periodontal diseases, we would like less than 10% of all sites in the mouth bleeding. Gingivitis is inflammation of the gum margin, and that progresses to periodontitis if we don't arrest it in, a, in, in about 50% of the population. So periodontitis is a continuum of gingivitis. Many people have gingivitis, we can't see it, and that's part of the problem. And I always think if that inflammation was on our hand, we'd be rushing to the doctor. But because we can't see it, we don't rush to the dentist. We need to be proactive and explain to our patients that gingivitis needs to be arrested and prevented. Most patients are not brilliant at cleaning their teeth. If we looked at the average person after they'd brushed, they'd only remove about 30 to 50% of the plaque on their teeth. So most people, unfortunately, need to clean better. We're all creatures of habit, and when we clean our teeth, we tend to do it in the same way. So if I asked you to clean your teeth, you'd pick up your brush and you'd clean. You'd probably leave some plaque in the mouth unless you were excellent at cleaning. And if I asked you to do that again, you'd clean the same way and leave the plaque in the same area. We know the majority of periodontal diseases are plaque related and are preventable. The best management is twice daily toothbrushing at home, using a fluoridated toothpaste if possible. For those patients that are really susceptible and a small amount of plaque tips them into disease, I would suggest an adjunctive mouth rinse. We know, reviewing the literature, for example, the Serrano paper in 2015, the Fuguero paper in 2020, that adjunctive mouth rinses, and by that I mean mouth rinses in combination with toothbrushing daily, can be beneficial. And the research suggests that to reduce plaque, we know that the essential oils have efficacy and also chlorhexidine. 